So today, we're at Little Oak Campground on beautiful South Holston Lake. And we're starting to get some beautiful fall colors over there on the ridges of the mountains. But yeah, these are beautiful sites. Picnic tables, lantern hangers. Most of the sites on this little peninsula here have uh, access to the lake so you can launch a boat, which I've done before. But I sold my canoe, so no boat riding on this trip. And the next step is to get set up. And after that, we're just going to relax. There it is, it's official. Okay, so we're just gonna kick back. We got the Helinox Chair Zero here. The Garvey is putting his scent on his new ball. And we're watching the fire. So I'm gonna let the fire burn down to some coals, get it down to a, a safe level. And then we can cook. Okay, so what we have here in this nice hot bed of coals, right there, is a sweet potato with butter and a little bit of olive oil. I'm just gonna rake these coals on top of it and let it sit there for a little while. And we're gonna take a little jaunt, quick jaunt, around the lake. And Garby here is raring to go. He's Super excited to not be leashed to that post. I can't say I blame him. Let's go check out the lake. And we're going this way. It's going to open up, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's a bench up here somewhere. And not many people on the lake today all colors. It is Sunday and there wasn't the uh, the best forecast in the world. That island over there is pretty cool. I've been out to it before. Somebody's got their pontoon boat docked over there. And there's another island over here. And there's another boat. I guess there's more people out here than I thought. So nice over here. I can't believe I haven't been back sooner. It's been probably five years. Four or five years since I've been here. It's a nice place for a hammock for sure. Down by the water. Oh yeah. Perfect spot. What a view. Lay back in your hammock and watch the sun down hit the water. Yep, this is a very unmaintained section of trail here. Oh, and here's the bench. And there's a little interpretive plaque here. Pause it if you want to read it. It's nice to be able to get a little bit of hiking in. I don't think we're going to through hike this trail. We're probably just going to do a section hike. Maybe an out and back. But check this out over here. 
this is where we start picking up the real nice views. Let me take you down on the beach here. Last time I was here, there were actually two separate islands and you could float between them. But yeah. That is Holston Mountain, I believe, that we're looking at right there. You going swimming, buddy? No? You don't. Back on trail after that little excursion. And other than this one site, number 69, this whole loop is empty. Very nice. We're going to take a shortcut and hit the trail up here a little ways. I think that today is the last day that the restrooms are open. Tomorrow, I'm pretty sure that the showers and everything get shut off. There might be still water, drinking water. I think showers and possibly electrical hookups are over tomorrow. And these sites are pretty nice too. Not super level, but they all have boat access, which is pretty cool. There's no docks or anything, but you can definitely tie up down here. Here's the trail. It does go back that way. There's the blue blaze. We're headed back this way, back to our camp. A few years back, there was a bunch of us camped here. We had uh, we'd used this trail to get back and forth between campsites. Looks like we got some people picnicking or fishing over there on the other side. We're almost back to camp. And when we get there, I'm gonna warm up the cast iron skillet and probably start sauteing some onions. Okay, here we are, that's us. Back up the side trail. And I'm starting to work up a little appetite. Let's get to some cooking. I have some coals going. That sweet potato is in there baking. I do have a couple apples and some caramel too, so I think I'm gonna bake those a little bit later. But what I think I'm gonna do first is get all this wood processed. I'm gonna split it up. I do have my tent stove with me. I'm gonna set that up for later. I think I'm gonna light it just before I go to bed. Just for a little bit of ambiance, maybe keep the condensation down a little. But I'm going to split up some wood for the stove and then the rest of the wood I'm going to use for this fire right here to cook on. While I was letting the battery charge I chopped up some onions. sit for a minute. Well, those onions are smelling really good. I wish you could smell them. I'm starting to think those hot dogs are going to go right in the pan with the onions. Oh, that 
so refreshing. I love my ginger ale. Okay, so this is dinner. Chili dogs with caramelized onions and mustard. And baked sweet potato with butter. And some ginger ale. And a view of the lake. We're going to enjoy this wonderful food. And we'll catch up with you after we're done eating. Well, dinner was good. Everything is cleaned up. We have full bellies. And I've been a little bit busy over here. Got a little bit bored, so decided to throw the tarp up and make a little porch area for the Mini Peak XL. This will give me a little bit more space in case it rains. And actually, if I go through all this trouble to set this up, it probably won't rain, so <laughs> there you have it. Got the lantern lit. The campground host just came by and gave Garby some treats. We've got our chimney pipe ready to go. So it's a little bit later now, it's dark. Garvey's all passed out over there. And the fire is starting to die down a little bit low. And I think we're gonna call it a night. We've got blueberry pancakes on the menu for tomorrow morning. Hot coffee. Yeah, I think we may have our breakfast down on the beach if the weather's nice. Until then, I hope everyone has a good night's sleep and we'll catch you in the morning. Good morning. Had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Nice and quiet. A little bit about two in the morning. Garvey woke up and chased something. Not sure what it was. Whatever it was emanated a horrible odor. I thought at first it was a skunk, but it doesn't really smell like a skunk. It smells more like urine. Like cat urine. So I'm wondering if there was uh, some kind of wildcat roaming around the perimeter trail here. Uh, in any event, not much of a sunrise. It's a little bit overcast this morning, but uh, that's the way we like it. Nice and cool camping weather. And we're going to go ahead and probably make some blueberry pancakes and sausage. Well, everything here for blueberry pancakes, sausage patties, but it is looking like rain on the lake. And I may have to move this party back home, but judging by the, uh, the sky over there and the water. I'm thinking it's going to keep raining, or at least misting like this. Of course, if I pack everything up, <laughs> it'll stop. That's just the way it goes. In any event, <clears throat> thanks for joining us on this trip. It was quite relaxing. We'll see you next time.
We've got hot dogs, chili, onions. That's a combination that would probably guarantee me my own seat on the bus.